morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Bernie and in today's video, I will be showing you this Tamron 70 to 200 millimeter EF lens. Let's do it right now. This one is no joke. This is a well-made lens built like a tank. Yeah, this is metal. Some parts are plastic. And this one is actually easy to use. This uh, focus ring, buttery smooth guys. And uh, when you wanna zoom in or out, so easy to use. So this one is a fast lens. It has a maximum of 2.8 aperture down to f22. So really a good range right there f 2.8 aperture it's a constant one so you won't have any problem like dimming when you want to zoom out or zoom in but in this case this one is all the time at 2.8 whenever i'm filming speeches for those speakers during reception why do i have this in the first place is that i want to be unobtrusive when filming during ceremony or reception and gone are the days huh that I have to stay in the middle of the dance floor because I have a very tiny lens or should I say I have a little bit of a wider lens. So meaning if I have those lenses, I have to get closer to the subject now blocking the audience, which is not really great for them or their experience for attending the wedding. So I don't want to do that and it doesn't look so professional. So what I did, I invested with this lens and I got this years ago. I can set it on a tripod and position this lens all the way to the back and stay still get a decent framing like medium shot or even close-up shot of the one talking. This one will make your life easier and this one is a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. With the micro four thirds system, it becomes double. So 70 to 200 becomes 140 to 400 millimeters. This one is actually made for Canon DSLRs, most especially for Canon full frame lenses. But you can also use this as your telephoto lens for your APS-C Canon cameras. And in my case, this one I got it mainly for my Canon 60D. And now I'm adapting it to my micro four third system. Partnered with my Panasonic G7 and exclusively used for ceremony and reception on a tripod only on a manual mode. Now, now it's on manual mode as you can see right here there's this blue indicator ring so how am i gonna be able to fit this to my panasonic g7 with of course with the use of this com light adapter this one is an electronic adapter which i got from amazon years back as well because this is the only way for me to be able to put this lens to my micro four thirds camera and since this is an electronic adapter i can actually control the aperture in camera it's so easy to use all you have to do is to mount this adapter like so and here the click and take this lens cap off and this one i have the lens hood right here to prevent some uh, lights coming from the side of the lens it's a very sharp lens actually comparable to the more expensive or double the price canon lens i have used one before but i don't own one so i won't be able to compare the two but in my eyes it's as sharp as the canon one this one is amazing and this lens before i forget this is the non-vc non-vc meaning non-vibration compensation so it's kind of a stabilization of uh, the tamron brand and they just call it vc and it will help you when filming like let's say wildlife when you are hand holding this but i have no use for it that's why i just bought the non-vc and i just put this on a tripod and i'm good to go i love this lens so much this one helped me tremendously and this one was one of the big purchases that I did way way back and I got this for about 750 US dollars all right so I have my tripod set up right here with this super old 701 HDV Manfrotto tripod head with the plate this is a Manfrotto as well with another Manfrotto plate right here but this will be the one to be on the tripod instead of the camera why because you might break it if this one is the one set up to your tripod so how i do it is pretty straightforward 
So I don't know if you can see, there's a red dot right there. You just have to match it to the red dot from this camera. So like so, and you are done. And all I have to do is to just slide it here and lock it in place and I am good to go. So I have to attach a microphone right here. I can zoom in or zoom out depending on the framing or depending on how far the subject is. What a value for the money if you wanna get this lens instead of getting the Canon ones. Who is this for? Well, if you are a beginner, not only for beginners, but for a seasoned pro as well, this is the lens to go in my opinion. It's an investment, I know, but for $750, you will be using this for as long as you're doing videography or doing corporate gigs. This one will help you a lot. And for the money, it's totally worth it. All right, so there you go, guys. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, Comment down below. This has been Bernie. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.